Hello, thank you for joining me again for another reading from the book, The Faith I Live By, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled, A Time of Trouble, November 29th. Let every lamp be burning bright, the darkest hour is nearing, the darkest hour of a long night before the Lord's appearing. Then trim your lamps, my brethren dear, then trim your lamps with godly fear. The Master's coming draweth near, let every lamp be burning. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. Daniel 12, verse 1. When the third angel's message closes, mercy no longer pleads for the guilty inhabitants of the earth. The people of God have accomplished their work. The final test has been brought upon the world, and all who have proved themselves loyal to the divine precepts have received the seal of the living God. Then Jesus ceases his intercession in the sanctuary above. He lifts his hands and with a loud voice says, It is done. God's long suffering has ended. The world has rejected his mercy, despised his love, and trampled upon his law. The wicked have passed the boundary of their probation. The Spirit of God, persistently resisted, has been at last withdrawn. Unsheltered by divine grace, they have no protection from the wicked one. Satan will then plunge the inhabitants of the earth into one great final trouble. The people of God will then be plunged into those scenes of affliction and distress described by the prophet as the time of Jacob's trouble. Those only who have clean hands and pure hearts will stand in that trying time. Now is the time for the law of God to be in our minds, foreheads, and written in our hearts. What leisure time we have should be spent in searching the Bible, which is to judge us in the last day. Let the commandments of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ be in your minds continually, and let them crowd out worldly thoughts and cares. When you lie down and when you rise up, let them be your meditation. Live and act wholly in reference to the coming of the Son of Man. The sealing time is very short and will soon be over. Now is the time while the four angels are holding the four winds to make our calling and election sure. Thank you for listening today. I trust that you have received the message God had in store for you. God's peace be upon you. Maranatha.